carriage house development is one of the ways in which we can reduce urban sprawl and keep costs down to service expanding communities. If you are exploring how to develop a carriage house on your property, the City of Kelowna has information to support you through the process. The key is you're going to have to be starting with a lot large enough to accommodate a carriage house and that has good access for vehicles coming in and out. So you're going to be looking for a lot that either has rear access or a wide enough front yard off the road that you can be taking vehicles through the front yard and accessing the carriage house in behind. Next one you're going to be looking for is to make sure the lot has the proper zoning. So in Kelowna to do a carriage house you're going to need to be looking at a lot with either the RU6 zone or a lot with a C appendage to the zone, so sort of the RU1C, the RU2C type zoning. You'll be looking at making an application to the city to rezone the property either to that RU6 or to add that C appendage to the zone. The rezoning process is a political process going um, in front of council who will consider the application consider the public input and what your neighbours or other members of the community think about the rezoning and then opt to either amend the bylaw or to uh, look for different alternatives. Then it's simply a matter of applying to the City of Kelowna looking for a development permit to allow the construction of the carriage home. Development permit is a, a fairly simple process. City staff will work with you, your builder or uh, any of your agents to look at different design options making sure your preferred design fits on the lot, has sufficient setbacks, space, traffic access, and all those technical details that need to be worked through as part of the building process. So some of what the city staff and your designers are going to look at as part of that development permit process are elements such as the building height is going to be either one and a half stories, but no taller than the, the sort of main house on the property. They'll be looking at the architectural style, making sure that the style, the finish, the roof lines match well or at least complement other buildings in the community. We're going to be looking at parking, making sure that there's enough parking on the property for the main house, the carriage house, and visitors or deliveries that might happen on the site. They'll be looking at property line setbacks, so how far the carriage house is going to be set back from your neighbours, from the roadway, and from the main house. One of the things that will be looked at as well is how the carriage house affects the privacy of the neighbours, making sure, for example, that the balcony on the carriage house doesn't overlook the neighbour's yard. The city will also be looking at access to the property into the carriage house, making sure that the access off the lane or roadway is safe, both coming off and onto the road. Carriage House Development continues to be a popular housing option and supports goals outlined in Kelowna's official community plan. Learn more by contacting the Urban Planning Department or access additional information online at kelowna.ca slash citybuild.